Okay, so look at Dark Souls 3 at 21 by 9. Finally, it's actually working correctly. So first, a massive thanks to Armin1702 and Martan. Uh, these are as close to the source as I could find for the fix. So if I'm wrong and it wasn't either of them, then I just want to thank whoever it was because it's just brilliant. And just thanks to everyone who's input to this because I know that a lot of us, myself definitely included, are really appreciative of this. So before we look at what the 21x9 support actually looks like, I'll quickly run through the steps to make it work first. So I did have a number of issues with getting this to work as there are alternative routes and so I'm going to go through the route that is absolutely going to work for you and the one that I'm now using. Well, at least the one that has the most chance. So open up Dark Souls 3, the EXE, in a hex editor, I'll link to one in the description. And the EXE can be found in your Steam game folder location. So in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls 3, Game. There you go. It'll be in there. Now once it's open in the hex editor, you want to hit Control F and search for the code 8007003804. It'll all be in the description if you want to read through this explanation. And once found, you then need to replace that string with either of the two following numbers choose either the 2560 by 1080 number or the 3440 by 1440 number like the one that I have on screen. Then save and quit the program. Again both numbers will be in the description. Now navigate to app data roaming Dark Souls 3. You can just type percent app data into Windows Explorer and then you'll just appear there and Dark Souls folder will be right there. Open it up and you want to open the file called graphicsconfig.xml into Notepad or Notepad++ and edit the following that you see on screen. Mine is the fixed version, what it should look like. If you're running at 2560 by 1080 then change it to 2560 by 1080 and essentially make it sure it looks like that. Again, full details in the description. Now save the file and exit, then right click on graphicsconfig.xml, the one you just edited, go to properties and make sure to tick read only. Then apply and OK and you can close the pop-up window. This stops the game changing the values later. Now you can load up the game through Steam and make sure it's full screen and has the correct resolution and boom, you're off. And it always loads in a window so you need to make sure it's full screen in the settings every time you start playing. Very little effort but just something to note. <laughs> not exactly like you're going to not notice but thought I should say. Now once this is done and it's working correctly, it shows off an extra view on the sides of the screen like it should always have. And it feels really weird playing like this and really freeing after playing so long with black bars. It is beautiful. The HUD is stuck at 16 by 9 and the in-game menus are 16 by 9 with black shaded background bits to the top and bottom which reach until the edge of the 16 by 9 screen space before cutting off abruptly. Thankfully the design means even though it cuts off at the sides, it doesn't look that bad and it has the effect of actually brightening up things while looking through like your inventory, which is nice as it's rather a dark game in all sense of that word. Loading screens are the same as 16 by 9 but the tiny icon on the bottom corner actually does shift nicely to the edge. And now the most noticeable problem. It's not terrible but it's not great. If you look at the extremities of the screen in the video now, any enemy that enters the very edges of your view runs at about like 5 fps. They really just jutter. Clearly it wasn't designed to have you see this and I'm guessing this is how they run at 16 by 9 when you're not looking at them so they use less power whilst moving around. So unfortunately this hidden feature is now revealed to us. But it's not that much of a problem. And it isn't even the full 21 by 9 extra screen space on either side. It's about half of it, so it's only a really narrow area. But it is there nonetheless. However, when I was playing, I actually didn't really notice it, as it is really the very edges of the screen, and you're really focused in the center screen. And at the same time, 
because there's not many enemies at once, I mean, you're really only going to be fighting one person at a time if you want to survive, you're never going to have someone in that screen area. So it's nothing really to worry about. Now, <laughs> realistically, the game could have been completely screwed up with its UI all over the place, and I wouldn't have cared, because it runs at 21 by 9 now, and that is beautiful. Finally, we can appreciate the beauty of this world, and on this point, it still runs fantastically. I've got a steady 60 FPS, exactly like I had had at 16 by 9 with the exact same settings. So when shifting up, you shouldn't need to worry about any of your settings being changed. Anyway, I have a feeling that this won't be the end of the effort being made to get Dark Souls running as best as it can at 21 by 9 So keep your eyes on the channel for future updates and check for annotations on this video or links in the description in case of an updated video already being released when you watch. So I hope that gives you some information on how the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for future info. For any other games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. See you later.